Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today in this video I'm gonna show how to update OpenCore on unsupported Mac. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now, let's begin. With OpenCore Legacy Patcher, there's generally very little reason for users to update the OpenCore. But in case graphics, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, audio, or any feature stopped working with the new Mac OS update, you'll need to update the OpenCore. In my case, the graphics isn't working at the moment. If you're having an old version of OpenCore on your Mac, it's more likely that you'll get the notification from OpenCore if you're connected to the internet. For updating OpenCore, click on OK and you'll be redirected to the latest OCLP download page. In case you haven't got any notification, download the OpenCore patcher manually. Here you'll get info about the current release and a full changelog. Now, scroll down a bit and download OpenCore app. After it's downloaded, extract it and then open the OpenCore patcher. After opening the OpenCore patcher, click on the Build and Install OpenCore option. After the OpenCore is built for your Mac, you'll be prompted with this option. Click on the Install to Disk option and then from the list of disks, select the drive on which macOS is installed and after that click on its EFI partition. Enter password when prompted. After OpenCore is installed, click on the Reboot option and then restart your Mac to apply the changes. During the startup, you'll notice the higher version of OpenCore and the release date. After booting back to macOS, open the OpenCore patcher again. Now, click on the Post Install Root Patch option and then click on Start Root Patching from the menu and then click on Yes to relaunch OpenCore's root. Enter password when prompted. If you're prompted with this system extension update option, open system preferences and then approve the extension. Now, click on restart to apply the changes made. And now, after booting back, you'll have the new version of OpenCore installed, with all the issues fixed on your unsupported Mac hardware. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.